Thomas Geeboy with weather. Today has been a proper taste of fall. Earlier this morning, we saw temperatures into the low 60s, even some spots into the mid 50s. That's about as chilly it is in here, but we're seeing those temperatures today rise quite, quite nicely. We've seen temperatures today get back into the mid 80s right now, coming in at 86 degrees in Dothan. Enterprise coming in at a cool 81 degrees, a lot cooler than what we have seen. Donaldsonville coming in at 90 degrees. That's the first 90 degree reading we've seen all day. Like I said, a nice taste of fall and local radar, not really a cloud in the sky, just a few serious clouds here or there, and but no rain anywhere to speak of, so wouldn't, we didn't have to worry about the umbrella, and we're not going to need it as we go throughout the day tomorrow, but here's your headlines throughout the next seven days. We are watching the active, active trop tropical storm Erica churning in the Atlantic. More cool air is on the way for tonight, so expect another marvelous evening, but like I said, that muggy air will return as we make our way into the weekend, but let's go ahead and head down the tropics. Tropical storm Erica, the main focus early today with strengthening just a little bit, but as you can see right now, kind of struggling. The convection not looking nearly as good as it did earlier this morning, but the reason for that is the dry air associated to the west just near San Juan. You could see this brown area right here. That's the shaded area. That's the dry air. As Erica continues to make its way into the dry air, probably see the convection go down just a little bit, but as it breaks through and heads closer to the Bahamas, it will be entering an area favorable for some rapid development. We're thinking could possibly become a hurricane, even a category two by the time we get to the weekend. Very uncertainty where it's going to go. It's all going to depend on Tropical Storm Erica speed along with some other factors in play. Watching a high pressure out in the Atlantic, that'll slowly begin to make its way to the west. And the trough that's over us that's been keeping us nice and dry, that'll depend if it continues to stay right there. We won't really see Erica make its way into the Gulf and it'll send, up, send its way up the east coast. So a lot of factors in place. So let's go ahead and begin to track this thing. As we go into your weekend, we'll see, temp, we'll see wind speeds right around 45 miles per hour making its way over the Bahamas. Then once it gets in that area of favorable development, expecting a category one storm by the weekend, and this is by Monday heading up the east coast of Florida. So let's go ahead and go through the spaghetti models. A lot of spaghetti models, a lot of agreement that it's going to head up the east coast. Just a few outliers into the Gulf of Mexico. But let's go ahead and transition closer to home. As we go throughout your day tomorrow, expect more refreshing air. But like I said, making our way into the weekend, we'll see that humid air make its way in from the east coming towards the west. So Friday, Looks like muggy conditions are going to be back, but as we head into Saturday, that's when rain chances will begin to ramp up. But tomorrow morning, going to be another nice morning to say the least. Temperatures into the mid 60s, going to go with a low of 64 degrees in Dothan. Skycast for tomorrow, going to go with a high of 91, slightly warmer than it was today, but the wind will begin to shift out of the east northeast at 5 to 10 instead of the northwest today. If you head to the beach tomorrow, going to be another marvelous beach day, mostly smooth on the bays, light and variable winds. So, not the best day for sailing, but enjoy this fall like weather while we can. Remember, tomorrow's close to college football. I know Tony likes that. And then the weekend looks like we'll see higher chances for rain, but tomorrow for Friday Night Football, things are looking pretty good. It feels like football out there for sure. Mm -hmm. And speaking of football, sports director Tony Cornish Jr. is standing by with more 